Hi, it's Guy from Project Portfolio Office and today I'm sharing our latest enhancement which is the ability to filter on a previous enhancement we deployed for the color styling of dates. So for those of you that have used PPO for a while, you'll know that we deployed in April the ability for you to apply color styling to any date field in PPO. And why this is useful is in the example like this with tasks, I can see tasks that are overdue, so red, the date is in the past, or tasks that are upcoming, and PPO defines that as the next seven days as amber, and any task in the future more than seven days would then apply no styling. So this is useful to quickly have a look at your tasks or your risks or your issues or your project end dates or your sprints or your work items and see quickly dates that are in the past or dates that are upcoming. The challenge with this, what we found, is that if you, for example, look at historical tasks like these ones, that styling is still applied even though the actual progress is 100%. Now, in most cases, you don't see those tasks because they're filtered out by the global filter, but we do use those in other things like the reports. So if you were to run a project closure report in PPO at the end of your project, and you were to look at it, if the color styling has been applied, it will look a little bit funny because those dates would still show in the color coding as overdue, even though those dates have passed. So the enhancement we like, we, we apply in today is your ability to go into those specific date fields in the configuration, the administrators can do this, and previously you applied your color styling over here, so to remind you, you had the option of no styling or highlight upcoming and overdue dates. But what we've added now is the ability to apply that to a subset or a filter of those, in this case, tasks. So I'm only going to apply this to active tasks. I'm going to submit this. And the, the impact of that is if I refresh this, the open tasks will be exactly the same, more than seven days in the future no styling, overdue red, upcoming seven. But if I go back to some of the historical tasks, this is 100% complete and those tasks would then apply no styling. And the benefit of that on an example like the closure report would then be that that styling no longer applies, which makes a lot more sense. So a fairly simple enhancement. The administrators can therefore go and apply this under the date fields, under the data fields section under the administration. And we hope this is then more useful to the users and takes out some of the confusion. If you're not following our blog, please do that. Go to the help icon in PPO. You can go to what's new in PPO. It will take you to our blog. You'll be able to from here access all content relating to PPO. The most important one is the product news where this type of video and content is provided and you can simply subscribe to the blog by filling in your email address, your first name, your last name and we'll then send you a weekly newsletter which will include these latest enhancements. Thanks for watching our video.